Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This guide goes through some of the accessibility settings that you'll find on the new 4K Fire Stick layout. So this is handy if you're partially sighted, short sighted, if you've got problems with your hearing. Certainly recently the accessibility settings have improved quite greatly on the Fire TV stick. So as I say, I'm going to go through them with you. So to get into them, all we do is we just grab our remote control, press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control until this menu appears, then let go and then go across to the right to settings, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down twice to accessibility once that's highlighted press the middle button on the remote control now first thing you'll see is subtitle so show subtitles for videos when available so you can turn that on or off and also in that the great thing is you can adjust the text so for instance if you want to change the size of it from very small to very large depending on your needs. Uh, also, we can change the color. So you've got quite a few different colors there you can change to, depending again on what's best for you. So I'm gonna change that back to white. Also, you can change the opacity as well, which I think on the current color, that's not available. Let's just try a different color. Yeah, if we change the, uh, the color to a different color, then that option becomes available there. Let's just change that back to 100% and let's change that back to default. You've also got different fonts there. Now at the moment it's on the casual font. So you've got cursive, mono sans, mono serif, sans serif, serif and small capitals there. You can also change the edge style as well if you wish. This again can enhance it. You could also change the text background as well so you can change the color of the background to whatever you like. So if you don't want any background then you can change it to no background. You can also change the opacity of the text of the background as well. So if you only wanted that, then you could change that to 25% uh, or 50%. You can also change the window background as well to again whatever color you like and uh, you can also change the opacity as well. You can also use your Amazon web settings for Prime Video as well and uh, you can do that under www.amazon.co.uk forward slash cc in a web browser. You can also turn on Alexa subtitles. So when you ask Alexa something, it will put the text on the screen. So uh, normally this is turned off. So let's just turn it on. And again, we can set the text. You can set the size, the color, the opacity, the font, the edge style, the background, the windowed background. Um, but I'll just show you. So uh, with it on, what's the weather like today in London? Currently. In London, England, it's 12 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. So as you can see there, it actually puts subtitles on the screen for what Alexa is saying. So the next thing is voice view. Now, this is great if you're... Voice view ready. Voice view screen reader. Voice view on. One of eight partially sighted Use up and down to move between items and as you can Provide hear it feedback as you navigate items on the screen it reads everything on the screen so you can also adjust reading the reading speed, speed. X, normal. so you can change that to uh, faster reading speed, two X, two and eight. if you want to or you can make it slower screen reader. you can change the verbosity as well so you've got all of these options the here that you can change. You can adjust the volume. Speech volume. Speech volume. 
you can adjust the sounds volume so you can have a balance of whether you want higher speech volume or higher sounds volume so here you've got key echo so you can adjust what's announced when entering the text and there you go so you can adjust how much punctuation that voice view speaks so if it's telling you too much in the way of punctuation then you can uh, you can change that to none some most or all and you've also got a voice view tutorial here so you can press the middle button on the remote control and you've got a list here of all the different tips so as it says there to exit out the tutorial just press and hold the select or the middle button and it should come out of the tutorial there you go I'm just going to turn voice view off here we've also got a text banner so if you want to uh, have a banner come up at the screen again if your site is not that great you can have the banner come up on your screen and uh, if you uh, want to change it you can change things like the font size and the color so uh, there you go you can go from very very small to very very large or the largest and uh, you can also change the color on there as well you've also got banner size timing and more and you can set the height and the width of the uh, the banner as well if you want make it smaller make it larger it's entirely up to you you can also change the position of the banner so if you want it at the top rather than the bottom you can do that you can put it to the left to the center to the right text detail alignment change it to the left cent or center uh, you can adjust the delay before the text appears show details on or off on there show additional text on or off show the screen screen description on or off and show usage hints you can turn that on or off so let's just turn the text banner off then we've got screen magnifier so let's go into screen magnifier and uh, here it gives you a, uh, a list of the, the shortcut keys on uh, how to use it so I think the main one to, uh, to, to identify here is how to turn it on and off so let's just uh, go OK down there so uh, and if you want to turn it on or off you hold the back key and the fast forward key together and keep it held down and there you go, it goes off. If you want to turn the magnifier back on again, back key and fast forward key together, hold it down, and then uh, there you go, it comes back on again. And like I say, if you want to use the magnifier, you can just go up and down. Let's just go back to a menu there. And there you go, it just zooms in to that area of the screen, left, right, makes everything a lot larger. So absolutely great. So like I say, if you want to come out that, you just hold down the back button and the fast forward button at the same time keep it held down and there you go it goes back to the normal high contrast text which is experimental you turn it on and uh, it does seem to sharpen the uh, the text a little bit there and uh, puts a little border around it on the uh, on the on the darker screens to make it easier to read this part is actually experimental at the moment so they're saying that uh, it may work it may not for you and finally you've got audio description so if we go down to that so going to audio description now this works with prime video at the moment so it means if you've got an amazon prime subscription or you're watching something you've bought something off of prime and you're watching it then it will give you a descriptive audio track so that it describes what's going on on a scene so again good for blind or partially sighted persons so there you go i hope this guide helps and i hope this helps you use your fire tv stick thanks for watching you can follow me on twitter at cw tech that's at cw tech on twitter and don't forget to check out my other videos in my youtube channel just google chris wait youtube and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel Thank you for your support.